All right, what's up, everybody? It's Trey Lestio, the dawn of entertainment, back with another Unfiltered Cinemax. This one is a little bit different. Uh, we went to go see Avengers Infinity War. Uh, it's the homie Brandon. Uh, so it's a little bit different in regards. Uh, I've seen it twice. I saw it on opening night. Uh, and then I went again with Brandon. So I've seen it twice. I have a little, like, I had the initial reaction and then I got to see it again. This is Brandon's initial reaction. So it's a little bit different in that regard. A lot of thoughts, a lot of breakdown. It's fucking crazy. I know Thanos demands our silence, but we are going to spoil this movie. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it and then watch our review because we got to talk. We got to fucking talk. Uh, so I guess where, where do we want to start? There's so yeah. much, well, so I much going just, on. So the interesting thing for me was so I saw Thor Ragnarok not too long ago. And it basically picks off right where that one ends, which yeah. was, I thought was interesting because... Otherwise, that movie was kind of, I felt like, a little bit of a throwaway okay. um, in the whole Marvel kind of and you, universe. You, so you didn't like Thor Ragnarok, uh, right? I, it's not that I didn't. Because a lot of people did like it. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite Thor movie. Okay. So i leave it at that, I guess. Okay. But, so it picked off basically right where that movie ends, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, you're introduced to Thanos in the first scene, so right away... Yep. Um, you get to see him, and you get you know a quick backstory basically because then Thor has to um, kind of hop in with uh, the Guardians essentially. Yeah. Um, Loki gets killed right at the very beginning, yes. which was an interesting twist. Yes. Um, uh, Idris Elba. Um, yeah. He so gets killed. I don't know his name in the movie, yeah, but no. but he's like the Watcher of Asgard, so uh, yeah. um, he gets killed right away. Um, the Hulk kind of gets shot down to yeah, Earth. To Earth. Um, to kind of say, like, he, that, oh shit, Thanos is coming. Yeah, then that's when we meet uh, Doctor Dr. Strange and Tony He's, Stark, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he teleports to Tony Stark. Um, yeah, just, just the, it smacks you right away. I yeah. mean, there's no time to yeah, they, let's intro just, it. They don't waste any time throughout the whole movie. There's no, like... yeah. There's honestly not a scene where I'm like, they could have cut that. I know. Right? It and felt like every scene in that movie was needed for the complete story. Totally agree. Of that movie. And it was, it was, it was close to three hours long. I think it was like two hours, 45 minutes, something like that. And honestly, with a movie of that length, normally you'd be like, uh, it's like super long. Right. But I, I felt like it was very well paced. Yeah. Um, like you said, they did a good job of, cause they had so many characters and so many different places. Yeah. It didn't feel too jumpy. I mean, yeah. of course they jumped around, but it didn't feel like it was like they were trying to get so much screen time yeah. for each person. Totally. So agree. I thought they did a, a really good job of kind of balancing, yeah. not keeping it on one person for too long versus, you know, keeping it on too many people for too mm -hmm. short a time. And I thought the way they cut, like. It, it was always moving the story forward. Like when they were talking about someone, they would cut to that person who may be on a different planet or something. So right. it felt just, it felt very mapped out. And we were talking in the theater, like the arc of the, the whole storyline. Right. And we can get into that a little bit later, but it was just perfectly mapped out uh, from planet to planet to planet. And from storyline, 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 and character, character, character. It was just... Beautifully written, honestly. Uh, I thought the dialogue was good. It was it was low key a funny movie. Uh, yeah, there was a lot more humor in this movie than, than I would have ever guess. Yeah, ever guess. And it, I, it was, but it was good humor. It was yeah. funny. Uh, it was well timed. Very. It, it, to me, it seems like the biggest shift from the Marvel movies as they go is. Has the, been the comedy. The Deadpool slash Guardians vibe vibe has kind of kicked into the later movies. Because that, that I don't know if that was one of your beefs, but uh, you were saying that Thor Ragnarok definitely has it was that Guardians vibe. basically Guardians, Guardians vibe. vibe. Yeah. yeah. And I believe that James Gunn wrote the dialogue for Infinity War. So that may be, James Gunn is the Guardians of the Galaxy's director. So that may be a reason why we get all this humor. But I thought that was very... Uh, cool and very fun. Um, what else here? There's just so much to talk about. I So one thing that I talked about in the trailer talk breakdown uh, when the trailer dropped and one thing uh, very apparent in the marketing of this movie 
there was no Hawkeye or Ant Man, and they kind of, it was kind of like a throwaway type thing. But yeah. I thought that was okay. They yeah. said like they They're took a house arrest, they basically. took a deal. Uh, Ant Man's on house arrest, and uh, Clint, who is Hawkeye, took a deal where he's staying back home or something. Right. So I don't know. Part of me thinks that they might come back in the next Avengers movie. And, I would assume so, and maybe have a big part. Uh, that would be kind of cool to piece together. But. Um, Let's get back to Thanos. Uh, so basically, if you're not with the times, I mean, we break down these Marvel mo movies, and this is the culmination of 10 years, so you should probably already know this. But his goal is to get all six Infinity Stones, and once he gets them, he can snap his fingers, and half of the universe is wiped out. Um, so basically, his motive behind that uh, is really because he wants balance is that, yeah, that would uh, that be he basically wants like it, it's a population thing right like there's not enough resources for every living being so he wants to wipe it out okay he thinks it's cleansing the world yeah. or um he th he says it's like providing mercy to these people in reality he's just trying to genocide basically yeah. and um i said this on the car ride over here that i i got a lot of ultron vibes out of that i felt like their motives were kind of similar right. if i have like i have a couple like slight beefs with this movie one would be that the the thanos motives i didn't i don't want to say they they're shallow but it just kind of seemed like like I, there just needed to be a little bit more there can right. you see that or yeah so i wish I, I think what would have made Thanos even darker and like more like powerful powerful is if he had just like I just want to kill everybody. Yeah. Instead of being like I want to cleanse He's the world. He's doing it for mercy. a good purpose. Right. Instead yeah. of trying to reason it, I wish it was like screw this. I want to be the one dude yeah. left. I want to kill everybody. Um, live forever. I like. I kind of think of like Voldemort as that way for the Harry Potter okay. series. Whereas like Thanos, it was parts of that sure, kind sure. of you know well i saw this on the internet um what they were saying that um thanos deserved a solo movie before this movie what's your take on that it it, it could have done some good yeah. i think they've talked enough about him um kind of leading up bit. where you know who he is yeah um but that's kind of every villain right in every marvel movie is we don't know them until we get mm -hmm. to that movie so um, I, I see it both ways. I, I don't know. It, yeah. Yeah. It's that, tough. That's, that's it's tough, tough to tough, break down. Yeah. We're just speculating, but, uh, so moving forward with kind of the breakdown. So, um, where do we leave off the, his motives were to find balance cleanse, and yeah. cleanse the world basically. Uh, he comes in with what? Two stones. He comes in with two stones. I'm not even going to try to yeah. say which ones they are. He picks up the, the one from Loki that's yep. used in the first Avengers yep. movie, the, I don't even remember. Wait, what yeah, I'm not even going to try. It's the red cube. one, I think. The, right? the little blue Oh, cube. it was a blue? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and kind of the big, not spoiler, but the big reveal, I guess, was the uh, Soul Stone. We, up until this point, that's the only one, if you're a Marvel geek and have watched these over and over, uh, that's the only one that we truly don't, don't know, know where it is. About, right? And so we find out that it's on some fucking random planet, uh, like, V Valadir or something, something like, like that. that. Valdemir or something. Uh, Gamora knows about it, and he knows because he kidnapped uh, Nebula, who is also his daughter. They're both his daughters. And they kind of got in her brain and uh, basically projected the the image the memory, out yeah. yeah the memory out to show that um she was talking to gamora gamora said i burnt the map to this planet where the soul stone lies so he could never find it exactly so he obviously thanos obviously knows gamora knows where it's at so they then go um i this was a great fucking scene i thought it really i really felt it because i felt like thanos really cares about gamora when it like deep down uh, so basically what happens here is you have to give a soul for the soul. And, uh, so he has to give up something that he loves. And, uh, Gamora was laughing about it because she was saying the irony that you love nothing. Uh, you think you're cleansing this world, but you truly love nothing when you kill everybody. And, um, he turns around and says, I love you. And starts then crying. starts crying and then throws her off the cliff. So that's really the first big like <gasps> moment, right? Yeah. Like that, that 
you, I did not see that one coming. Um, that was kind of, it all kind of led up to that moment for those two characters. That was crazy. Um, what, what else, uh, from there, then he, that was the soul stone. Then he got, then he needed to get the time stone from, from Dr. Strange. Uh, Dr. Strange and the mind stone from vision. So those were the next ones that he was after. And he sends out this black order crew. He kind of calls them his children and they're going to fight these, uh, separate Avengers teams. So we have Iron Man with the guardians of the galaxy and Spider-Man. We and have Dr. Strange and Dr. Strange. We have, um, we have part of it. Cause then on another planet, you got Thor, rabbit, <laughs> and <laughs> rabbit uh, and tree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're, they're, they eventually met up with the guardians of the galaxy, yeah, but they so broke off, off the planet trying to find like a weapon to yeah. basically kill Thanos. They basically go to this planet where, where the, we see Peter Dinklage as right. the, the ironic giant. Yeah. Um, the, which is the planet where they made Thor's hammer originally. Yep. So Thor and, and the, and the Thanos gauntlet, and the Thanos gauntlet we yep. find out. Yeah. Um, and then on the, basically at Wakanda yep. is Black Panther, all of Captain Wakanda America, is Captain America, and, um, Black Widow, Falcon. Yep. And I think that's Hulk. It. Uh, yep. Hulk. Hulk. Hulk's with them. Yep. He's in Vision the Iron Buster suit. What's her name? Uh, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet yeah. Witch. They eventually all go. Yeah. So basically they go to Wakanda because they want, uh, they don't want to take Vision. And Bucky. Yeah. And Bucky. The white, w the white wolf. Um, they don't want to take Vision's Soul Stone, uh, or excuse oh, me, the, not Soul Stone, they, they but wanna, the Stone the, the Vision, the Vision Stone, right? Yeah. They want to basically... The Mind Stone, right, whatever the fuck. Yeah. They want to take it. They want to take it out, but if they do that, it'll kill He'll him. He'll kill him. So they try to like reprogram his brain, reconnect some things, so they can take it out. He can stay alive, and then yeah. they can destroy the stone, so Thanos can't get yeah. all six. And the only technology out there to do it is in Wakanda. They find out, right. so they go there. That's the purpose for that. Um, so there's an all out war while, yeah. uh, Black Panther's sister. When the Black Order comes. Right. Yeah. So, so then Black Panther's sister's trying to do all of that while there's the, all out war. In the war. nick of time. Yeah. Right. Um, and then in the meantime, you have Thanos going to fight, um, Iron Man, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange. On his planet, on Titan. His, on his home planet, Titan. Yep. yep. Uh, they basically like devise a perfect plan uh, it looks like they're going to rip the gauntlet off of his arm. Yeah. Um, and then Star-Lord finds uh, out. Gamora dies. Gamora dies. He's pissed. They, they, Mantis kind of puts her, puts, uh, Thanos under so like his sleep. spell yeah. to sleep so they can pull it off. And Star-Lord loses his shit and punches Thanos until he wakes up, catches the gauntlet and all that starts a shit storm yep. basically. So... From there, he gets the uh, he fights everybody. He stabs Iron Man. You Looks think, like Iron Man. You about think to die. he's gonna die? Doctor Strange, for some stupid ass reason, says, "I'll give you the stone if you spare, you know, Tony." If, yeah, uh, I yeah. He if does you, that. <laughs> which you were saying yeah. originally. There's a scene before where Doctor Strange says, "It comes down to your your life or the stone." Just so you know, I'm, I'm protecting the stone. And he lied. Yeah, and he lied. But here's my theory with it. Um, actually, I'll say the theory after we break down the whole thing. So, so yeah, Thanos yeah. basically gets all of them. The time stone, the, yeah. He gets then the he time stone. Earth. Then he goes to Wakanda. Ba right. Basically, in a, blue, like a blink of an eye, he's so powerful, no yeah. one can do anything. So he's just basically pushing them aside. They're finally trying to just destroy the stone. Um, uh, that Vision has because they failed basically. Mm -hmm. um, they do it, blows it up. You yep. think, cool, you know, USA. Um, and then with the help of Scarlet Witch, with the help of Scarlet she's Witch, the only one powerful enough to to, to blow do up it. The stone, yeah. And then Thanos uh, with the time with stone. The time stone. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Rewinds it, it and uh, takes the stone, puts it in, <laughs> and it looks like. He's going to get away with it, and then Flying Thor comes out of nowhere with this axe. With, with the weapon that yep. they constructed. With the on axe. Planet. Stabs him. Pretty much they make you believe, like, okay, this is it. Like, Thanos is going to die. Yeah, which, when I first saw that, I was pissed. I'm like, yeah. all this up, for, like, leading up to this fucking moment, with it, it just felt very shallow. Right. I was pissed in the moment. Yeah, so then Thanos says, like, you should have gone for the head. 
snaps his fingers. Oh, such an iconic moment. Yeah, it really honestly. was. It really was. It was wild. And then he kind of backs out, uses the little time travel thing. Yeah. Then leaves. he goes to kind of like a dream. Right. He sees Gamora and she as a child. As a child, and she says, "Did you do it?" And he said, "Yes." And she says, "Was it worth it, or what it cost you?" And he says, "Everything." Everything. Uh, uh, I could love it. Yeah. Then basically everybody. Actually, similar, I don't know if you remember the last uh, Harry Potter, but Voldemort, like, just slowly, like, ashes away. Okay. Like, that's how he dies. Basically, that's how, what is it, half or a third of the universe yep. dies. They just, half. like, slowly fade away into ash. And how we find this out is they cut back to Wakanda, and they're all like, what, ha like, what happened? Where'd right. he go? Because he vanishes, Thanos, that is. And then we see Bucky Barnes just fade into ash, and um, you're like, what the fuck? And then... The craziest one to me, like, yeah. they, they, obviously, they, like, split it up, like, half of the universe dies, so not everyone does, but the one that so, got me... let's wait, let's, okay. let's, let's, go the, let's go through the other one. So, Spider-Man yep. fades, Star-Lord fades, uh, what was the little girl with the antlers? Mantis. Mantis fades, Batista's character fades. Yep. Groot. 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 Uh, and Rocket. Rocket. No, Rocket, I think, was good, wasn't Did he it? stay? I think I Rocket know. stayed. Okay. Uh, girl with the red. I always forget. Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch fades. Um, the biggest one, the I, biggest I, I'm going to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> Doctor Strange fades. Yep, Doctor Strange fades. And then the biggest one for me was when they were still on Wakanda, uh, Black Panther fades. And you said Spider-Man. The craziest thing to me was I was going to this movie, we kind of figured people were going to die. And I thought... And I, I think, thought it was going to be the old heads, right. but they fucking... If we, if we, we would have guessed, I, I think we were both figured it'd be Captain America, America and Iron or Tony Stark. Yeah. Yes. So the fact that they kill off Black Panther, who, uh, whose solo movie made like the, the fourth highest gross movie ever, $4 billion, something along those lines, and they just kill him off. They kill Spider-Man off, who had a great movie. It was just very surprising. And like, they keep Tony, and they keep yeah, Cap. Yeah, they keep basically the old heads. Yeah, like, Thor. I think Thor. Uh, Hulk. Um, Black Widow. Black Widow. Yeah, so basically the original Avengers. And it was just very surprising um, in terms of like what they're going to do for the next movie. Right. Um, so that that's it. Basically everyone dies. Um, there's an end credit scene that was very important and very cool, I think. Right. Um, we find out Nick Fury and Colby Smollett, I don't yeah, know her I'm name sure, in right. the in the movie. but Girl they're from uh, How I Met Your How Mother. How I Met Your Mother, yeah. Uh, they're driving on Earth, I think in New York, yeah. I don't know. Um, and people start vanishing, people are crashing cars, they get out of the car. Both of them vanish, so Nick Fury fan vanishes. Um, but just in the nick of time, he sends some signal out to the big reveal, Captain Marvel. So she is, uh, it's, a, it's a female character played, it's going to be played by Brie Larson. Um, so clearly she's going to have a very big part in the next Avengers movie. So we're talking about a next Avengers movie, so we have to like, what's going to happen? So, all right, we have all these people dying. Do they come back? You have yeah. to think that they yeah. come back, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no way they're gonna. If people might die, but there's no way that they're going to kill. I mean, Black Panther is yeah. not dead. There's no way. He just made the biggest fucking gross movie I think in Marvel's history. This one, this one uh, is actually, on its way. Yeah, yeah. but um, Spider Man, like, ev like everyone fucking Doctor dies. Strange. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, you, it just felt like I, I was stunned when I walked out of the movie. I'm like, yeah. holy. Shit, what did I, what just happened? Uh, jaw dropped, but in the back of your head, you're thinking like, okay, they have to be coming back, right? My whole question is, how are they going to come back? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know enough about Captain Marvel to say, like, I don't know if she has, like, time traveling abilities or shit like that, but you have to think that she's powerful enough to bring them back somehow or do something to get the right. team back together. That or... My other theory, and I think we're going to probably talk a ton about this on our next oh, yeah. podcast. Oh, yeah. um, we'll so, have time to so, think yeah, about so it check in there and theorize. Yeah. Kind of our big theories. But my my theory will be they'll have to go basically try to defeat Thanos, take the time stone back, okay. and see what if they can run it all So you back think they're going to try and individually pluck the stones? Well, I think they're, they're going to have to try something, yeah. right? I mean, I don't know exactly what it is. Here's my like theory. 
my grand big theory <laughs> as of this moment. Yeah. Subject to change. <laughs> they're going to go try to fight Thanos, get the stones back. Basically, what's going to happen is they're going to take the time stone, try to rewind it. But yeah. then what that's going to do is give Thanos all of the stones basically back. Okay. Because it's going to run it back in time to where he had the stones. Okay. And they're going to have to try to fight him again. Huh. To, but they'll know, have everybody. They'll have everybody. Okay. That's kind of my working theory. Working, working theory. theory. But so, again, we'll discuss way more in yeah, detail yeah. on the podcast. So earlier I was talking about kind of a little theory, but um, there was a moment when Doctor Strange was kind of tweaking out and he was going, he was visiting future um, realities and possible outcomes, and there were like millions of out, million yeah, of outcomes. And uh, Iron Man says, how many do we win? And he says, one. So bef right before Doctor Strange vanishes into Ash, he says to uh, Tony Stark, he's like, it was the only way. We so the end game. Yeah, the end game. So that, it, there has to be some play on yeah. that where he had to give him the time stone because that what basically snowballed into the yeah, big that's... fucking snap and blow up. So, so there point. has to be something with that. I don't know what. I'll theorize and get back to you on the podcast, but something happens there. Yeah. So, so I don't know. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. So it, that's basically that's basically the movie in a nutshell. A couple working theories. Yeah. We'll go more in depth. Yeah. So let me let me ask you this. Yes, do you, go ahead. Sorry. Do you no, have something? No. Okay. Go ahead. Um, flaws. What like yeah. if any? What flaws are there? I have a couple. Yeah, why don't you start? Okay, so my big, and this is more of like Marvel in general. Uh, I read a Hollywood Reporter article and I was like, damn, that's, that is true in my mind. So they claim something along the lines of um, Marvel has gotten so big and it, it's just kind of felt like these movies, it's kind of like doing homework. Like you have to keep track of where the Infinity Stones are. You have to keep track of this and that and what character is doing this and shit. Um, so it just kind of, it feels like it almost too big to be true. And you kind of have to do your homework to watch these movies. And you could make the same argument with like Star Wars or something like that. But it, it, it's, it, it begs the question like where does Marvel go from here? Do they, do they actually leave these characters dead and then they go back and do uh individual movies with the ones that are alive you know maybe some come back in the next movie and then they go forward with solo movies from there it's just it begs the question like what what is happening like what is to come and so um that that kind of feels like a flaw another kind of flaw with that flaw i guess would be it feels like the next movie because like we said, it a part of it feels like all these characters are going to come back, which would mean that this the next movie is just a big undo button, which is kind of shallow. I mean, obviously the next movie hasn't come out yet, and we don't know what's going to happen. But if that does happen, it just feels like a like a undo a big undo button, which kind of to me defeats the whole fucking purpose of the culmination of ten years leading up to this point. So that would be one potential flaw to come, I guess. Um, the movie itself was fucking great. Like I said, perfectly paced, um, beautifully written, funny. Um, it cut to the characters in a perfect time, like just jaw dropping. It just, it had a lot going for it. Mm -hmm. But I, I just, with the movie to come and where it could potentially go, it's like in the back of your head, you're like, oh, what are they going to do? So that, in, is that like yeah. a, no, I, I think you know that what I'm makes saying? Sense. The only other big one for me would be just kind of the philosophy of Thanos. Okay. Um, okay. Would you would you pack on there? I don't want to say he's shallow because I felt they did a good job with him. I think they found their I, iconic villain. Right. I think. But do you kind of feel he was a so little shallow? This is what I think. Back story was if you if you give him like a solo movie, you don't get that like culmination of yeah. here's Thanos. Yeah. Like we've been leading up to this guy. Yeah. Instead, you you see him more, and usually as you see them more, they become less. Like all shot, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I get, I, I, I get why they they've done it this way. I just the, again the mindset. I wish it was more like I just want to like kill everybody. I want to be um, like running this shit. Like you know, I, I wish he just had a more destructive philosophy okay. than kind of like a moral yeah compass Code. type thing. Yeah. So 
Okay. But again, that's nitpicking. I'll yeah. try to think of more. Also, uh, another thing stuff. that I, I thought of just now, uh, Wakanda's basically no fucking more. Yeah. So, I mean... That's I why know. I think they're going to have to use Go back the time, time stone. I agree. I mean, something yeah. has to happen. Something. Um, I did read, and I believe this article might have been before when they're like predicting, but um, I think I did see an article. I didn't read the article because I'm, I didn't want to be spoiled, but the headline said that uh, Kevin Feige, or Feige, whatever the fuck his name is, uh, the producer of Marvel, basically, said apparently something, and I don't know the direct quote, but he said... The characters who die are dead. So, I just don't we'll know. See. If that's we'll true, see. I have no fucking idea where they go from here. Yeah. No idea. I mean, so, we'll it's, it's crazy. All right, so Rankings. Ranking time. First off, did you have an initial ranking in your head when yeah. you left the theater? Yeah, so initially when I left the theater, I would say 8.7. 8.7. Second time seeing it. Second it time, it bumped a, like a couple decimal points. I'd say 8.9 is my final answer. Um, if you're keeping track, Black Panther did better than that. And our last movie that we went to, Ready Player One, did better than that in my mind. I just... Th- it was a fucking great movie. I, I don't know if I've walked out of a movie that shocked in a long time. But, I would say that the comparison to me would be in Force Awakens when they kill Han Solo. Okay. That would be like... Yeah. That's... I, like I just that. I completely didn't see that coming. Oh, me either. Me so. either. But I like that. It just, I, I'm a casual Marvel fan, and this movie was great, like I said, but um, it just felt like Black Panther had something more. Like, it was, I don't want to say, it was, it was for the culture. Like, like, it's something that black people can hold on to and be like, we fucking killed it. Um, this is more of like for the Marvel nerd, for the Marvel geek who have put the time and the effort to watch every movie and study this shit. I feel like this was their movie. It yeah, just because I believe in the comics, Thanos pretty much kills everybody, and I guess I won't. I won't say that. I won't say that. What that we'll talk. We'll, later. we'll, we'll save that for we'll the podcast. Later. A little tease with yeah, the fans out there. We'll talk later. Um, okay, for me, um, so this is a hard one to score because it's a part. It's a two part movie, basically. So, and but they technically don't want you to think that. Right. Or, initially, it was Infinity One Part One and Part Two, but they took that away. So yeah. But technically, but it, it's going to be a two part. Technically, movie, it is two parts. Essentially, so yeah. it's a continuation. So it's hard to you know you're only grading it on basically one half of that. Yeah. Uh, so my my gut reaction is eight point four. Really. Um, knowing that there's more to come, and I think. After the second one, I'm it'll sure it'll, it'll be all tied in together, and okay. that score will be bumped up. So it's an 8.4 with a little asterisk for okay. incomplete score. <laughs> 8.4, 8.9, mid to high eights. So, uh, Go watch it. If you haven't seen all the other Marvel movies, I highly recommend watching all of yeah, them. Yeah, well, not even, gonna need them. not even all of them. I would say Ragnarok, Civil War, Black Panther, definitely Civil War, and then... Um, Doctor Strange. Probably the other Avengers movies. Yeah, just to kind of build it up. But um, Black Panther, Ragnarok, Civil Doctor War. Strange, Civil War, and I think you're probably good. Maybe Guardians. Gar- definitely Guardians. Of the Gal- you have to throw at least yeah. one in there. Uh, great. Good good movie. If you are a Marvel geek, you will fucking love it. You will be shocked. Uh, Thanos demands your silence. So if you're not uh, scoring movies and doing reviews like us, just kind of show some love and don't spoil it on the internet. Um Crazy, crazy movie, and it was fun. Um, that That's it. That's the breakdown. So a lot to talk about, but we'll be back for more. Um, I think the next movie potentially might be Solo, uh, unless there's this, another movie that pops up and we're, we're filling. But uh, thank you for watching. As always, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm Trey Lestio, the dawn of entertainment. This is Brandon the Constantly Airy. This is Are You, are, are you Entertained Unfiltered Cinematics, and we'll be back for more. Stay safe.